Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed a couple of you know lab sessions that you had. I hope you enjoyed the lectures. I understand it was dense. It is you know it's a survey. We're you know talking about a lot of material in a relatively short amount of time. So first of all, I would like to thank you, the participants. We've made this tutorial especially for you, and I hope you had fun. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what we um, hoped to have covered in class. So in the first lecture, we looked at some of the building blocks of recurrent neural network models. Uh, we saw how we can get rich dynamics uh, from them in a simple manner without too much fine tuning. But at the same time, we appreciated some of the mathematical tractability, which lets us analyze these types of models. So it's really this combination of these two things that have made you know, RNN models the go-to tool for modeling you know, time varying dynamics or behaviors in the brain. Um, in the second lecture, I hoped to have surveyed a few examples of where RNNs have been modified to be more brain-like, either by task specialization or by training them to do different kinds of dynamics that are similar to um, experimentally consistent observations, and how this, has, this procedure has let us infer things like mechanisms that we would not be able to get at through measurements alone. Um, I would like to thank the TAs for working tirelessly along you all, the participants, in, this, um, in, the, in these hands-on pod-based lab sessions, but for also countless hours that they've spent in the, in the days leading up to the tutorial. Uh, my team of TAs, they've worked on this material extensively. They've worked on the problem sets. They've developed solution manuals um, in multiple languages, mind you, to provide you all, the participants, with the best possible learning experience. Um, I think, speaking personally, I had more fun working along the TAs on this tutorial than I've had, you know, like for a year. Um, I do want to reassure you that, you know, even if you didn't get through the problem sets, which I don't expect you to in these, you know, abbreviated times, really the goal is to give you an idea of the sampling. Um, it's not a big deal. Work on them on your own time and then, you know, talk to us. See if we can help you make sense of any of them. If you if you come up with interesting variants or anything we should have done better, let us know as well. Now, you know, you know, this is, you know, an entire field of research and our literal day jobs. And we've tried to blast through them in three hours. So, you know, it's kind of designed to lead into these threads for a lifetime's worth of exploration and research. So um, I would like you to like you to stay in touch with with other people in your pods and with your TAs, um, hopefully more than the technical aspect of this tutorial, you also got to know a few other people um, with whom you would not have you know, otherwise worked alongside. Um, I would like to definitely thank my digital media strategy team, especially Dr. Serato Marks and Dr. Van Der Weel, the Cosign backstage team, the Hope in backstage team, my own lab, especially Claire Sun, and um, Dr. Meming Park, the Cosign tutorial chair for his leadership and, and support throughout the making of this year's tutorial. So I know that this doesn't um, take the place of real life meetings, you know, like cosigns of the years past with all the milling around and the spontaneous networking and freewheeling exchange of ideas that come out of such events. But if you look at the flip side, sort of, you know, take a glass half full um, kind of approach, being virtual has really democratized access both to this tutorial, but also to co-sign more broadly for a large number of us who either, you know, travel poorly, speaking for myself here, or are too constrained in different, you know, professional or personal um, ways to, uh, to be able to travel much for science. So for me, this has been a win. Um, I hope that you can all join us for next year's tutorial too, because we had a blast bringing it to you, and I hope you had fun too. So uh, if there are any questions I can address, please feel free to ask me or uh, reach out to me afterward um, by email or um, via the Cosign portal. So thank you again very much and stay safe, everyone.